Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at data types in Excel and in particular adding capital cities and other geographical information from a particular country automatically from Excel. Now geogra geographical data is a new data type and it's only available though in very specific versions of Excel. I'll put a link to the description on the Microsoft Excel website as to the versions of Excel that you can get this great feature. It's for Excel 365, 365 for Mac and also Excel for the web, so you, which is free. So if you go on to Excel for the web, you'll be able to do this. Also available on iPad, the Excel web app, iPhone, the list goes on. I'll leave a link to this description and you can have a look yourself to see if it's available for you. So let's get back to it. So we have some new data types available in Excel and they are under the data tab and the data types groups. Currently there's stocks and geography and currencies. Currency is the latest one to be added. Previously there was just stocks and geography. And what we can do is Say we can put in, say we enter some country names. And if we select those and hit geography, this actually converts them to a geographical data type. And you'll get this little icon here. And what we can do is we can get Excel to extract some information or data associated with these countries automatically for us. So if we click on that, we can see all the fields or information that is available to us. So if we wanted to say, okay, what is the capital city? It'll input it for us. And we could say, okay, what is the currency? And then we could say life expectancy. And you can see that Excel will populate your data or your cells with that data. Now, if you notice that we don't actually get the headings automatically, so you probably would have to type those in. So one way to get these columns automatically populated is converting your list of countries into a table. So to insert a table, you can uh, select your data, go to insert and table, or you can hit control T, which will bring up the same thing. And there we can say, and there Excel confirms uh, the data for your table and that your what you want to do is click that your table has a header and that will assume that the A1 there or the first row is the header. Hit OK, we now have a table. So if we now do the same thing and go to our data tab and we're going to convert that to geographical, if we then go and select the major city, it actually puts in the information for us automatically. So again, if we want to say, so if we want to say, okay, what is the birth rate? Let's see what the GDP And these are all of the options uh, we have. One other thing that's quite interesting is you can put in an image and it will bring up the flag if you needed to look at the flag of that particular country. So now we have this as a data table, we get all the benefits of the data table in Excel. So if you then add in a new line, if you add in a new line, and um, let's say the country is Germany, Excel should fill in automatically the information for us. There we go. Let's try it again. Let's try Spain. So if I just hit enter, Excel will go away and get all that information automatically for us as we add in a new line of data. So there's a lot of options available. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below to the Microsoft site where it tells you what versions this is available. And I'll also put a link of every one of the options that is available, like the birth rate, the GDP, the population, the tax revenue, the time zone, tax rate. Have a good look through 
I'm sure you'll find it very interesting. So that's how to automatically add geographical data from Excel with the new data types, geography. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you ding the notification bell, you'll get notified when I record a new Excel video. Thanks for watching.